O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, save your people, and mercifully hear us when we call upon you. Endue your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fights for us but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us. Do not take the Holy Spirit from us. The Book of Genesis, Chapter 27 Now when Isaac was old and his eyes had become clouded so that he was unable to see, he sent for Esau his first son, saying to him, My son, and he said, Here I am. He said, See, I am old, and my death may take place at any time. So take your arrows and your bow, go out into the field and get some meat for me. Make me food, good to the taste, such as is pleasing to me, and put it before me, so that I may have a meal, and give you my blessing before death comes upon me. Isaac's words to his son were said in Rebekah's hearing. 
Then Esau went out to get the meat. Rebekah said to Jacob, her son, Your father has said to your brother Esau in my hearing, Go get some rose meat and make me a good meal, so that I may be full and give you my blessing before the Lord before my death. So now, my son, do what I say. Go out to the flock and give me two fat young goats, and I will make of them a meal to your father's taste. You will take it to him, so that he may have a good meal and give you his blessing before his death. Jacob said to Rebekah, his mother, But Esau, my brother, is covered with hair while I am smooth. If by chance my father puts his hand on me, he will know that I am tricking him, and he will put a curse on me instead of a blessing. His mother said, Let the curse be on me, my son. Only do as I say, and go get them for me. And so he went and got them, and took them to his mother, and she made a meal to his father's taste. Rebekah took the robes of her eldest son, which were with her in the house, and put them on Jacob, her younger son. She put the skins of the young goats on his hands and on the smooth part of his neck. She gave into the hand of Jacob, her son, the meat and the bread which he had prepared. He came to his father and said, Father, he said, Here am I. Who are you, my son? Jacob said, I am Esau, your eldest son. I have done as you've said. Now come, be seated and eat my meat, so that you may give me a blessing. Isaac said, How is it that you came by it so quickly, my son? He said, Because the Lord your God made it come my way. Isaac said, Come, that I may put my hand on you, my son, and see if you are truly my son Esau or not. Jacob went near his father Isaac, and he put his hands on him, saying, The voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. He did not realize who he was, because his hands were covered with hair like his brother Esau's hands. And so he gave him a blessing. He said, Are you truly my son Esau? Jacob said, I am. Then Isaac said, Put it before me, and I will take of my son's meat, that I will give you my blessing. He put it before him, and he ate it. He gave him wine and had a drink. His father Isaac said to him, Now come near, my son, and kiss me. He came near and gave him a kiss. Smelling the smell of his clothing, he gave him a blessing and said, See, the smell of my son is like the smell of a field on which the blessing of the Lord has come. May God give you the dew of heaven and the good things of the earth, grain and wine in full measure. Let people be your servants and nations bow down before you. Be Lord over your brothers, let your mother's sons go down before you. A curse be on anyone by whom you are cursed, and a blessing on those who give you a blessing. When Isaac had finished blessing Jacob, and Jacob had not long gone away from Isaac his father, Esau came in from the field. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Acts of the Apostles, Chapter 11 Now the apostles and the brothers who were in Judea had news that the word of God had been given to the Gentiles. When Peter came to Jerusalem, those who kept the rule of circumcision had an argument with him, saying, You went to men without circumcision, and took food with them. But Peter gave them account of all of it in order, saying to them, I was in the town of Joppa of prayer. Falling into a deep sleep, I saw in a vision, like a vessel, like a great cloth let down from heaven. And it came down up to me, and looking at it with attention, I saw in it all sorts of beasts and birds. A voice came to my ears, saying, Peter, come, take, eat. But I said, No, Lord, for nothing uncommon or unclean has ever come into my mouth. But the voice, coming a second time from heaven, said, What God has made clean, do not make common. This was done three times, and then they were all taken up into heaven again. At that very moment, three men sent from Caesarea came to the house where we were staying. The Spirit gave me orders to go with them and doubt nothing. These six brothers came with me, and we went into that man's house. He gave us an account of how he had seen an angel in his house, saying, Send to Joppa and get Simon, named Peter, to come to you, who will say words to you through which you and all your family may find salvation. And while I was talking to them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, as on us at the first. And the words of the Lord came into my mind, how he had said, the baptism of John was with water, but you will have baptism with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them, when they had faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, the same as he gave to us, who was I to go against God? Hearing these things, they said no more, but gave glory to God, saying, Then to the Gentiles as to us, has God given a change of heart that they too may have life. Now those who had been scattered because of the persecution that took place over Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus and Antioch, speaking the message to no one but Jews. There were some men from Cyprus and Cyrene among those who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks too, proclaiming the good news of the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. A report about them came to the attention of the church in Jerusalem, and so they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain true to the Lord with devoted hearts, because he was a good man full of the Holy Spirit and of faith and with a significant number of people being brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas left for Tarsus to look for Saul, and finding him he brought him back to Antioch. And so for a whole year Barnabas and Saul met with the church, teaching a significant number of people. Now it was in Antioch that some of the disciples were first called, called Christians. At that time, some prophets came down from Jerusalem, and one of them, Agabus, got up and predicted by the Spirit that a severe famine was about to come over the entire inhabited world. This took place during the reign of Claudius. So the disciples, each in accordance with his finances, decided to send relief to the brothers living in Judea. This they did, sending their financial aid by the elders through Barnabas and Saul. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels and all just works proceed, give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, 
and also that by you, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Collect for aid against all perils. Lighten our darkness, we beg you, O Lord, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants around the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all, tonight and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>